In order to perform in front of a live audience, stage actors are often required to memorize pages and pages of dialogue. No easy feat. To remember or not to remember, that is the question. But in this game, you don't have to remember any lines. You just need to pay attention to the actor's lines. Gather round, people, gather round. The show is about to begin. Our troop of actors are about to perform a short play. Listen closely, because afterwards, we're going to ask you about what you heard. Let the play on memory begin. Prithee, my lady, did you perchance see my gift basket? Was it the one containing delectable strawberries? Ah, lass, a juicy orange and pear as well. Did it also have an apple and a cherry? Yes, fair maiden. Kiwis and ripe melons, too. But not a vegetable in sight. <laughs> Nary a one. But definitely a banana? Yes, yes. Have you seen it? I'm afraid not, my lord. <laughs> and see. Now listen as we read off a list of words. Play along and raise your hand when you recognize a word from the play. How many of you heard the word orange? How many of you remember the word banana? Who remembers hearing the word fruit? And who remembers hearing the word apple? Do you agree that the words orange, banana, fruit, and apple were spoken during our play? Well, I have the best of news and the worst of news. <laughs> if you heard the words apple, orange, and banana, you have excellent memories. <laughs> but if you remembered hearing the word fruit, I'm afraid you're hearing things. What? Alas, the word fruit was never uttered upon our stage. But it isn't your ears that are to blame. It is your brain. If you look at our actor's script, you'll see the word fruit is nowhere to be found. Prithee, my lady, did you perchance see my gift basket? Was it the one containing delectable strawberries? Ah, lass, a juicy orange and pear as well. Did it also have an apple and a cherry? Yes, fair maiden. Kiwis and ripe melons, too. But not a vegetable in sight. <laughs> Nary a one. But Yes, yes. Have you seen it? I'm afraid not, my lord. 